Hi, welcome to the Cubism demo. All right, to begin a Cubist style drawing, uh, I'm going to be creating a surface that's going to be a lot more interesting than just plain white paper by using um, maps. So I've got a whole bunch of old maps over on the counter, a piece of newspaper, and a piece of brown paper. You still want to have the majority of the ground surface being the white paper exposed. Um, so just start tearing. I like having a more deckled edge and placing. Try not to glue directly through the middle of the paper to avoid it being wrinkly. I also like to smooth the glue down a bit so it doesn't bubble a lot, keeping it smooth. You can overlap pieces. Make sure you put glue on the side that you want not to be exposed. People make that mistake a lot. So again, smooth it down. And while you're doing this, think about what object it is that you are going to draw in three different perspectives. Um, oftentimes you might just want to switch your paper upside down or vertical just to get a whole different perspective. Let's have this just go right through here. interesting piece with all these numbers. I might place this. Um, ooh, I don't like that. Maybe I'll lift this back up. Put it underneath there. Alright, so it's not going to be the smoothest surface. Uh, we're going to be using charcoal. We're going to be using a black compressed charcoal and a white compressed charcoal. Then you're um, able to add color with oil pastel or chalk pastel. Um, you can definitely add more collage to your background if you would like. I am going to draw my quick trip cup, my unsweetened tea. I'm going to start with back this up a, little bit, a vertical view. Um, this can be a frontal view. It can be a view from the top. It can be a view from the bottom, or it can be different sizes. I want you to have three different views on this page overlapping in some interesting way. So I'm going to get my charcoal. I'm going to start with this ellipse top, this vertical. No, I said vertical. Oval. I like these because you can do thick lines or thin lines. It's got a good point to it. Typically, I don't fit like drawings, or they're not as visually interesting if they're right in the middle. But since we're going to be doing a lot of changing, taking away, and adding to this, I think it'll be just fine. I'm not going to draw the complete Quick Trip logo, but I'm going to just kind of reference kind of where it goes in. Just kind of some bubbles in here. This is going to be really dark. All right, now it's time for a different view. I'm going to turn my... Oh, about the straw. So we go up. All right, so we have one view here, unfinished so far. Okay, turn it this direction. Maybe just draw, draw the view from the top. So we've got big circle. Careful when you're drawing over your collage pieces as they will rip up. Here's where the straw comes up. You can see. And 
and I get this foreshortened perspective that goes very dramatically back. And my hand's kind of in the way, so I'll have to move this. All right, so there's my view, somewhat from the top, really foreshortened. All right, now I'm gonna have one more view. Let's just make it a lot larger and hanging off the page. So I'm gonna have it right in front of me again, and I'm gonna use this edge up here. So I'm gonna draw right over what I had before. If you want, you can choose more than one object. You wanna have two or three. Now I have a lot of lines that I can work with. Here we go. So can you make out the three different perspectives that I've quickly drawn in here? I want you to repeat some of these lines, extend some of these lines to break apart the background. And that's all we have time for today.